Hi Pisces and welcome to your weekly tarot scope. I'm Katie, I'm a professional intuitive tarot card reader. If you do need a personal reading with me then you can visit my website and book me there. My website is katietarot.com. Okay so this reading is for the 16th through to the 22nd of October 2017. Let's get started and see what energies need to come through for you Pisces. Remember to check your moon and your rising sign as well as your sun sign to get a better overview of the energies that are coming in this week for you. Pisces. Pisces, what is happening with you? Monday and Tuesday energies. What have we got? The King of Wands. Okay, so let's have a look at the next card so we have a better understanding and we've got the High Priestess. So I'm feeling that some of you may be looking at improving their circumstances somehow and to do that you're going to be needing to go into your intuitive self, contacting your higher self and spirit to bring that through to bring through that knowledge because if you're doubting yourself at all there's no need because you are the king the king of wands king of business you know king of um his element fire okay so you have this exuberance this passion this excitement this week pisces that it's like you are a fireball you want to get going you you're raring to go um, because you know what you want to achieve and you're going to go and get that and if you are unsure at all just make sure you go back into yourself and your you and connect in with your higher self because that's never going to lead you astray you have what it is inside you and the knowledge that is within you so access that this week if you need to there's also um, a choice here or there is a decision that needs to be made. You, you have been maybe erring on the side of caution and not, being, not, not, not really deciding when you should have. Okay, so let's see what else comes through here. We have the three of wands. So this may be because it's you're heading in a direction that is completely different to where you have come from. And that may be why you are waiting and why you haven't taken the steps yet to go where you want to go although you know exactly where that is and it is somewhere very different to where you are now we have the three of cups so it may involve a community it may involve friends family other people around you but it is a collaborative um, thing collaborative effort so it looks like it's not a solo thing but you might be the leader of this Okay, and you're trying to take this uh, thing into a new realm, into a new, um, down a new path. And you're going to be very successful in doing this because you have the vision. You're going to be accessing your internal self. You may have been stalling or waiting, but then again, you have the help of others if you need it. So you're probably calling on that as well. So things are looking good this week you're not you're not stuck you're not stale you're not treading water you're not just um, being you're doing more than that this is more of an action week for you things are starting to happen let's have a look midweek for you we have the three of pentacles and we've got a lot of threes here okay so things are building up they're not in the planning phase they're in the instigation stage you're starting to move you're st things are starting to shift other people may be involved this may be a group effort or you may be involved with other people in this area of your life this is a general reading so you have to place this energy where it fits in your life it's going to be different for everybody might be contracts as well okay working with other people you may be the expert in your field or in this area other people may be coming to you or you may be going to another person that has more expertise than you and this is uh wednesday and thursday queen of cups okay so we have uh, an internal energy of uh being very creative and being um very receptive as well. I'm feeling this is very receptive energy coming off 
the Queen of Wands today and we have the Six of Pentacles because you're giving, you're giving your advice or knowledge or maybe you're donating your time or your finances or you're doing something, you're giving. Are you getting it in return though? Let's see. We have the Fool, you're kind of throwing yourself into this. Are you going in blindly? Make sure you check all of your blind spots, okay? Whatever this is for you, signing contracts, it's something you really want. This is an internal thing, emotional internal thing. You are connected to creativity and spirituality as well in relation to this, but you really do want this, this, this new thing that you're having to work with other people to achieve may involve contracts, okay? Trying to move in a new different direction and you know where you're going. Yeah, very determined. You're kind of throwing yourself in here throwing yourself in and that's fine as long as you check your blind spots and you know um make sure there's no yeah check check the fine print okay guys and let's have a look friday in the weekend we have the world okay things are coming to fruition things are going really well you're going to be pretty happy with the week actually like you've accomplished a lot and things have just things are going well for you that's the overall sense of the world card and we have the devil okay hmm let me just pull another card and see what this is relating to we have the six of swords okay so this is because the devil's come up because this circumstance may on some level be causing you some distress mentally okay and this is going to be ease this is going to come off you it's a weight off your shoulder when you make this decision which i see that you have you have already or you're very close to it i'm going to move in this new direction because you you know you have the power you are in control of this working with other people you're very emotive and that's why um, you just have to be careful that nobody uh, brings you down in any kind of way energetically or if you have any thoughts um, that are um, negative or you have some kind of anxiety related to this person or place or situation or whatever this is for you, you're going to be moving on and past this. So that's a really good thing. We have the five of pentacles. You're moving past the isolation. You're moving past the loss and the disappointment in this person or in this situation or in the past in some way. So you may be dealing with a Capricorn. You may not. However, whatever this is for you, situation or person, it's one that made you feel anxious and uptight and stressed and um, isolated and just like you were not connected to other people, but you are and you are now. This person, if it's a person for you, they may have been trying to restrict your friendship group. If this is a romantic partner, they may have been trying to keep you caged in in some way, control you in some way. But you're moving away from that now. You're moving away, which is good. Okay, let's have a look at the advice card for you. And we have the five of wands. Okay, so just beware, just be aware that um, on your way through this week, there may be obstacles and trials that you have to go through that are that are down um, much lower in vibration. You need to keep your vibration high this week, okay? And if you come across people or circumstances that are lower, then you need to make sure you protect yourself energetically so that they can't affect you and touch you and bring you down in any kind of way. Make sure if you are signing contracts or you're doing something along this sort of line, business orientated, yes, you know what you want and you're emotionally connected to it in some way. You're very intuitive in that sense and you are going in a new direction with other people as well. You're kind of throwing yourself in there, moving away from the past and the past hurts and entrapments that have kept you bound up. But just be very aware this week that you may have these other people coming at you. I'm not feeling it could be this person here. If this is a person for you that represents a devil card, may not be though. It could be a circumstance where you just feel like it's just, oh, it's too much. And these people are infuriating me. And I'm, I don't know kind of if I'm going to get through this or, or I don't know how I'm going to manage this. You know, if you're thinking those things throughout the week, um, just have faith and connect to spirit because you are on the right path. You have people around you that will support you 
and you also have your own vision so hold true to that so that is a reading for the week if you like the content then please subscribe to my channel until next time though bye for now